So the city of Beachwood, Ohio, has canceled its Little League All-Star game for children ages 9 to 12 because it feels it hurts the self-esteem of the players not chosen. Fred Eng, the founder of the National Alliance for Youth Sports, sounds like fun, says that by not choosing a child, you tell him he sucks. That's great. But he says it's bad because every child is an all-star, and saying he's not ruins the love of the game. Of course, Fred fails to realize that not being picked might actually cause that child to improve. But that kind of response might build character, and who needs that? But hey, this is America, 2008 after all, where schools ban grades because objective truth hurts dumb students. Add to that reality shows promising fame to the untalented and obscure, or contests rewarding twerps who mimic instead of playing an instrument, and the line between doing and not doing has been blurred beyond recognition. Throw in the blogosphere, where real achievement is dwarfed by the moaning sounds of those who can't leave their bedrooms for lack of drive or fresh underwear, and now everyone is a star. But no one is good at anything. We are left with a culture where the feeling of accomplishment can be derived without accomplishing anything at all. The only solution, it seems, is to relish our fake achievements and wait for those who still believe in winning to come and invade and remind us what it's like to lose. And if you disagree with me, then you, sir, are worse than Hitler. Um, are you saying America's overprotective parents have turned kids into a bunch of coddled wastes of flesh? Next, you're going to tell us that the little runs are bad at math and morbidly obese. Nancy Newsflash, I roll. Uh, as a 32-year-old who's new to the television game, I, I never would have known. <laughs> as are you, but you hide it better. Yikesies! <laughs> Welcome, recent college grads who think promptly retrieving. <laughs> Shut up, Aaron. <laughs> Retrieving Megan <laughs> Kelly's bacon egg and bacon sandwiches means they've automatically earned themselves an office, intern, and expense account. Thanks to my younger co-workers' inflated sense of self-worth, I'll be able to leave them in the career dust and ultimately realize my lifelong dream, i.e. the O'Schultz factor <laughs> with Bill O'Schultz. O'Schultz, O'Schultz crust out. All right. <laughs> and the cuteness in. Mm -hmm. All right, let me just boil down what you just said. Uh, because we're coddling kids, we make them incompetent so you don't have the competition to get promoted in your job. Right, I'm confused. Then why did you just say that? Uh, because I wanted to say a Schultz factor. As well. <laughs> That's exactly right. All right. John, John should all star games be banned? Uh, yes, for two reasons. Really? Number one, I'm not worried about the self esteem of the kids who didn't get picked. Let's stop inflating the egos of the ones who did. No yeah. kid is an all star. Yeah. I don't want my kid walking around going, yeah, I know I'm not going to eat my peas. I'm an all star, mom. Uh, I want a shoe deal and a date with Madonna, and if you need me, I'll be in Vegas. You know, I don't need that. You know? what, at what point did the kids go to the 1920s? I don't want this, see. Oh, Listen here, yeah, mom. You ever seen kids play baseball? The the scores are like football scores, yeah. and it's all errors, like 20 in the park home runs with no hits yet. I mean, I bet, you know, like, why, why do you want to see any more of this game? Please, you cancel be, it. You should be a coach. I can see you where you really win with kids. Patty Ann, what's next? Are we going to cancel beauty pageants because someone's daughter isn't pretty enough? It's ridiculous. It really is. Uh, what I love is the quote from the guy who is saying, youth sports are not meant to single out a handful of kids. They're about making every child feel special. Really? I thought they were about teaching you life's lessons yeah. and preparing and also, you for adulthood. Nobody, nobody where wants a special kid. I mean, come on. Special kids are a pain in the neck. <laughs> they think they're spent. They think they, they go to better schools. They get everything they want. My mom always said it's good to be an average child. Mm, and did that make you feel better? Yes, it did. <laughs> Allison, Allison uh, do you think this Fred Ang character was good at sports when he was a kid? We, you know, I have personal experience here. I was the one who was always picked last for sports, and that gave me motivation to grow up so that I never had to play a team sport ever again. <laughs> and look, it worked. So. Mm -hmm. Right on. Well, that's the point is, you know, most people that are really good in sports when they're kids end up becoming dirtbags older because they don't try anything else. So they end up running or opening a trophy shop <laughs> so they can glory in the old days and they end up with a crank habit. I think they still do crank around I here. I'm not sure. I take your inverted compliment. <laughs> yeah, okay. But people who are bad at sports end up becoming good in other things. All right, don't go anywhere, my little friends. The next story is so good you want to adopt it and raise it as your very own.